but it really is gorgeous and uh, you feel lucky to get to do shit like play Red Rocks and stuff like that. Like, oh, no big deal. Just this gorgeous amphitheater you fuckers have like right there. Yeah, right. You're like, what's that? You're like, oh yeah, there's like a Six Flags over there too. Yeah, just Red Rocks. So. Yeah, we'll do whatever. Lots of, lots of weed and stuff. It's chill. <laughs> Professional football team. Here we go. Denver Nuggets too. Shit. Congrats on that. What the fuck? Good shit. Wow. Fuck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All the Nuggets are good. Yeah. That's good. There you go, buddy. <laughs> anyway. Long before I ever came to Colorado, I was a real piece of shit. <laughs> you know, sloppy steak piece of shit. You know how it goes. And I moved from my, my beautiful coastal waters of ass hot, stuffy ass Texas, and I moved out to California. I said, hey, what could go wrong? And I, uh, I was like, I know, this will be challenging anyway because I've never lived on my own. I'll bring a girl that only kind of likes me, but that I like a whole, whole lot, and I'll move her into a house with me. But we can't afford it, so we'll also move in my sketchy roommate who's like real sticky. Just kind of in general, real sticky person. And I did everything in my power to keep this girl hanging out and sort of was like, don't look behind the curtain. Sure, when we pull a towel off the wall in the bathroom, the whole towel rack rips out along with some drywall and a little bit. But that's okay, it's character. And I brought her home a couch that me and my sticky roommate found on the side of the road. But it was wrapped in protective plastic, so we knew it was going to be totally safe. You could probably eat off of it. And right when we got it in the door, my stupid sticky-ass roommate got unsticky and dropped his end of the couch. And right when it hit the ground, a bunch of really small roaches just fell out of the couch. And disappeared into the brown shag carpet that we had in this awful little room. And then we had pets and shit was great. And then the girl was like, I'm leaving you. <laughs> and I was like, what happened? And then I went and got the plastic bong out of my fridge that I called Sub-Zero. And I was like, <laughs> fuck her, man. <laughs> and after all this time, I realized, finally, maybe I had something to do with all of that. Mm -hmm. Those are the invasive thoughts, and we don't let those win, right? Yeah, so I don't know if those long ass stories. So this goes out to all of your uh, lowest times, and to whatever you named your first fucking awful bomb. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. Don't even. Know. Please, you're out of season, not a single lord What must his family think, and you must be getting his feathers wet Well, she always seems to be the top Until she drops you like a rock You should have been a better friend to him Yeah, I'm testing all the ones I let my own I fix the street door, raise your bond But still you're calling from the moon Every single afternoon Tell me all about the astronauts you come for love And how the earth looks from above And how I should be a better friend to you
me to call you out like that. I was all fucked up, you know. I was just starting to play music. I was a little overwhelmed. You know, you guys are all out here. You're so pretty. So nice. Better friend of you, for sure. Definitely that guy. Whole front row. I know my amp is pointed right at your face. Better friend of you. Absolutely. You want more? Okay. Turn it up, please, as loud as possible. Thank you. We'll get to you. Uh, the better friend of you and you and you. That's it, no more friends, I'm bad at this shit. It's over, game over. Okay, and you. <laughs> yeah, boy.